Hello everyone, it's Hazel and welcome once again to another Smart Diet. I'm going to share to you three quick and easy recipes using one of the top kidney foods that I have shared in my previous video. If you've watched that one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, here's the title to that video and I'm going to share the link in the description box below. And so, just to let you know, these three quick and easy recipes that I'm going to share are great both for those who are on dialysis and those who are struggling to slow down the progression of the chronic kidney disease. So I get asked a question if the recipes that I share here in my channel are also good for those who are on dialysis. And my answer is, it depends. I said it depends because you need to look at your blood work and then you go from there. Now there are patients who opt to have a plant-based diet because a plant-based diet is actually great if you are trying to slow down the progression of CKD. But for patients who are already on dialysis, they have a different, a whole different type of diet. And I do understand that if you are on dialysis, your doctor would recommend uh, to have a high protein and high carbohydrates diet. Actually, your diet is less on vegetables and fruits. So if you are on dialysis treatment, I'm pretty sure that you are going to agree with me that you need to have enough protein and carbohydrates and less of vegetables and fruits because when you go to your dialysis treatment, you need to have enough nutrients in your body because these are going to get pulled out of your system. And if you don't have enough, you might experience issues during the treatment. For example, let me just share with you um, a story. So the other day I was at a dialysis center and I actually overheard one of the patients say that her treatment was stopped because her blood pressure went down. And she was talking and I was listening to her and she said that her body didn't have enough to give. So there wasn't enough to pull out of her body. I don't know if you hear this from people who are probably from doctors or people who are on dialysis or I hear a lot of people who actually say that you know the day before your dialysis you can actually eat everything that you want because the next day you're gonna go to your treatment and your blood is going to get cleaned anyway so I don't know if uh, that's the best advice but uh, for me personally I'm not yet on dialysis so I don't know but from people that I know who are on dialysis they feel weak after that after the treatment because probably just my opinion you know it's just a lot it's just a lot of process it's a lot for the body for all these nutrients to get pulled out of your system so make sure that you have the strength that you ate enough enough protein and enough carbohydrates so that when you go to your treatment you have the ability to sustain the process of um, going through dialysis so again guys this is just my personal opinion and the best person to talk to is your renal dietitian or your nephrologist listen to the doctor at the center and ask for information from there based on your lab work now having said that in these three recipes that I'm going to present to you I said that you can have this if you are on dialysis I actually am going to use beef as a source of protein if you're not uh, uh, comfortable with beef you can have chicken you can have uh, you can have skinless chicken one of the best kidney food that was on our video last time and you can also make use of sea bass or you can also have salmon if if uh, you like salmon better 
So if you are ready, let's begin. Here are the three quick and easy recipes for you today. So for the last recipe, I'm actually gonna show you how I make it. So I've already marinated the beef. I put some minced garlic, lots of uh, ground black pepper, a little bit of um, soy sauce and oyster sauce, and um, lemon, freshly squeezed lemon juice, okay? So it's been sitting in my refrigerator for more than two hours. I actually cut up the beef into tiny bites like this. Okay, and I think my skillet is ready, so let's start cooking. So guys, that's another video for today. Until next time, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't, make sure to subscribe and click that bell notification so that you can be updated when I upload my new video. And also guys, please don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know which of these recipes would you like to try. I love them all, I've tried them all, and uh, they're all good. You know, if you are running out of recipes, maybe you can try all these recipes. You can also switch up your vegetables. So instead of using cabbage, you can make use of onion one day. The next time you can make use of red bell pepper. You know, uh, bell pepper with beef is also delicious or bell pepper and onion. So um, mix it up a little bit and, and try other recipes or try other vegetables with the beef. Always remember, love your kidneys. <laughs>